My name is Biandri Yubar and I'm currently a doctoral student at Northwest University in South Africa. I'm based on the Pochopstroom campus. I am doing my doctoral study in international trade law and I specifically look at sanitary and phytosanitary measures as non-tariff barriers to trade in South Africa but my interest extends further into the SADC region as well and then ultimately it connects with the World Trade Organization's agreement um, on the application of SBS measures. I have a background in um, international trade law as well in the sense that I did my master's degree at Northwest University in import and export law and I have grown up with a farming background and have witnessed the practical um, application of import and export uh, from a very young age. So that's where my inspiration comes from. I am a Zimbabwean and I have a very strong connection with um, international trade, regional trade um, in Southern Africa. My research at EDEP has been focused on the topic perspectives on legislation and policy in three specific countries and um, these were Botswana, Namibia and South Africa and the perspectives that I have been most interested in is the um, perspective of the protection of human, animal and plant life and health within um, the context of SBS measures and the risks introduced by trade. So I have used a variety of well, a, a mixed methodology to extract information in, within the legislation and the policy to examine which principles of SBS and which broader philosophical concerns um, in the promotion of trade within Africa and within Southern Africa specifically in this case um, are present within the legislation and to what extent it can be seen um, or can be understood to be facilitating, facilitating trade within the context of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement as the legislation currently stands. My summary of findings shortly is as it stands I'm not entirely convinced that the legislation is, is up to the the, the task at this point but the, the, the benefit or the, the optimist view on that is is that there are recommendations for further research and further technical focus within legislation that can be can be done and I do see legislation as being a potential facilitator of trade especially since it is the authority which then delegates further application of SBS measures and so having core legislation which um, is, is, is incorporating not only the technical requirements but the broader philosophy is vital to um, the furtherance of the goals of um, not only regional but continental uh, trade at this point. Within the EDEP program, for which I'm very grateful uh, to be here, it has been a very um, great opportunity, very interesting and beneficial on a number of levels, not only academic, but in terms of experiencing Dakar and Senegal as well. And um, as a researcher from Southern Africa, experiencing um, contemporary issues within Western Africa and being able to discuss this with people from a variety of different backgrounds has been probably the most important aspect of the fellowship and I think for that EDEP is unique and such a great asset to um, Africa as a continent um, in that the variety of different backgrounds, sharing ideas, sharing views, similarities in uh, domestic issues, differences has been um, very, very beneficial. As a legal researcher amongst different economists, um, this has different types of economists, this has been a benefit to me as well and that's what I see as being something from which the fellowship can also benefit in the future is having different 
um, academic backgrounds, not only in different nationalities, but different academic backgrounds, um, mixing um, within the fellowship program. The feedback that I receive from the different economic perspectives um, on my legal research has allowed for a deeper interrogation into what is it that I'm trying to achieve with the research, what is it that I um, think law can achieve or cannot achieve. And so um, in the future I would like to see um, not only more legal backgrounds involved in the economic uh, development and planning or planning and development um, but also other academic fields which um, ultimately culminate in a um, very, very strong, very diverse uh, research base. Mm -hmm.